Hi, welcome to another tutorial video on coding in JavaScript. In this video, we're going to look at uh, creating and using variables in JavaScript code. So variables are basically uh, used to store data in programs um, that can be uh, used and modified throughout the running of the program. So that data could be in the form of text or numbers or true or false uh, variables or values. So um, variables store data in a program and um, that data can vary or change during the running of the programming, hence the name variables. Variables are given unique names so that they can be uh, called on during the program, uh, whether we want to maybe display information that's stored in a variable on a screen or maybe we would need to access a variable uh, to use a number in a calculation uh, or something like that. So variables are always given unique names, so they're not confused with other variables, and they can be assigned a value to store. Um, so variables can be of different types. Uh, there are um, four main types that we'll look at today. So these are strings, integer, float, and boolean. So a string is... Uh, text mainly. So str string variables can contain characters that, which can be letters or numbers or punctuation marks and symbols. So it can be a combination of uh, different characters. So a string could be a word or it could be um, a sentence or paragraphs of text. It could be something like a username or a password or an email address. Uh, so it can contain mixed characters. All right, so letters, numbers, uh, and other characters. An integer is just a whole number. So if we were creating a game and we needed to keep track of the player's score, then we might create a, an integer variable that contains a number for that uh, score. A float is uh, which also it's just short for floating point, and that means a decimal number. So a number with a, a decimal point. Uh, so that could be maybe an average score. Uh, it could be a, a price in dollars and cents uh, for, a, for an item or a product. Uh, so it's just a decimal number, a number that contains a decimal or floating point. And a Boolean is a value that can be tr either true or false. So for example, again, if we were making something like a game and we needed to keep track of whether the player had reached a certain checkpoint or not, we could have a variable that might be called checkpoint reached and it could be false. And when the player reaches that checkpoint, it could change to true. And then we might have code that checks if it's true or false and uh, maybe loads another level if it's true or um, keeps track of something else if it's false. So those are the four main um, data types for variables. These are called data types. All right, so variables can be of these data types. Um, there are other types of variables as well. We can create uh, arrays, which are lists of um, more than one value of, or item. Uh, so we can store multiple values, whereas variables can only store one, one value at a time. So to create a variable, we need to um, do three things. We need to give it a unique name. Uh, right, so that's the first thing, we need to give it a unique name. We need to determine what type of data is uh, being stored in that variable, and then we need to um, give it a value to store. So to create a variable, we use the var keyword, var is a short for variable, and then we give it a unique name. So it's really important that uh, the name that we use is uh, firstly not the name of an existing variable in the code, but also not the name of an existing function or statement uh, in the code. So for example, um, in the last tutorial, we looked at how to use console.log uh, and document.write. Um, so we shouldn't really create a variable called like console or, uh, or uh, other functions that we'll look at uh, later in these tutorials. They need to be unique names and they should describe what the variable is storing. So for example, if we wanted to store um, a user's name, we might create a variable called user or username. And then what we do if we want to, uh, if we don't have a value to assign to that variable yet, then we can just say var and give the variable a name. And at the moment it's empty, it's not storing any information. But if we do want to give it an initial value to store, 
some information to store. Then we say equals, which is called the assignment operator. Uh, and that's used to then assign a value that will be stored in this variable. So on the left, we have the variable name and on the right, we have the value that's being assigned. So we might have say a user called Joe. Okay, so um, what we've done here is we've declared a variable, we've created a variable, and then we've initialized it with a, a value. But during the program, this value can change. So later in the code, we might update the user to be somebody else. We don't need to reuse the var keyword again though, because this variable user already exists. It's already been created up here. Um, when we want to modify the value or change the value that's stored in that variable, we don't need to say var again. Var is used to declare or create the variable, um, but once it exists, we just need to refer to its name and update it. Now, variable names are case sensitive. So for example, if I created the variable name with capital or uppercase U, then this variable here is going to be a different variable to the one down here. They're going to be treated as two separate variables. So make sure that um, you pay attention to whether it's uppercase or lowercase letters. Um, you can't have spaces in variable names as well. So if I wanted to call this username, I can't have a space. I could make it one word or I could use an underscore. Um, I could maybe use capital letters for um, multi the first letter of multiple words in a um, sentence, but I can't have spaces. Okay, I also, um, another rule is I can't start a variable name with a number. I can have numbers in variable names, oops, but it can't be the first character in a variable name. All right, so no spaces and you can't start with numbers and the names uh, do need to be unique. All right, um, and you can use uppercase or, or lowercase uh, letters. Okay, so variables, they store information that we can use over and over again in a program. So what we're gonna do now is have a look at uh, some examples of creating variables of different types. So um, I've got a user there, I've called Joe. All right, I might create a greeting that's gonna be used maybe several times in this program. It might be something like welcome or maybe hello there. Um, I'm going to create, um, let's say this, um, I'm creating a game and I, I've got a score. Uh, I might have the player score is currently 50 and I might have um, an average of scores for all the different players um, at the moment. It might be something like 20.5 or 20.57 or something like that. Okay, so what we've got here is an example of, um, oh, and we might just create one more. Um, uh, finished game equals false. Okay, so what we've got here is some examples of different data types um, being stored in variables. The user variable and greeting, these are both examples of strings. All right, so they can contain characters, they can contain um, you know, letters, numbers, uh, punctuation marks, uh, and different symbols. All right, and they're strings. Now we can tell they're strings because they're contained within quotation marks. Quotation marks can be uh, single quotation marks like that, or they can be double quotation marks like that. But whenever we want to store a string, so text, uh, letters, numbers that are just going to be treated as text, uh, string values, they're always contained within quotation marks. All right, numbers that we want to treat as numbers, so maybe used for different calculations, if we're going to do some maths, uh, they are not contained within quotes or quotation marks. They're just uh, numbers on their own. So this is an integer here, it's a whole number. And this example down here, the average, that's an example of a float, a floating point or a decimal value. All right, this variable down here, finished game, uh, so if we wanted a variable that kept track of whether the player had finished the game or not, which could be true or false, uh, that if we want to store a, a Boolean uh, value, so this is an example of a Boolean, uh, true or false, it can only be one of those two values and we don't use quotation marks to store the word. Okay, and it's just lowercase like that.